Axiata Group Berhad's net profit fell to 447.8 million ringgit in the second quarter and the June 30th from 644.8 million a year ago, attributed to acquisition costs and foreign exchange losses. Its revenue, however, rose 2.2 percent to 4.7 billion ringgit. The excess acquisition, so that has been planned. No, uh, no surprise whatsoever. When we acquire acquire excess, of course, we have to put in early. Uh, the, uh, the payment for the loans and so on and so forth, of course that affected the, the results. He added data continued to be the main growth driver, rising 27% in the first half of 2014. Axiata also saw its mobile subscribers grow 11.7% to over 250 million in the Asia-Pacific region in the same period under review. Moving forward, Datuk Sri Jamaluddin said the third quarter would continue to be challenging and the full-year revenue growth for the company should be in the single digit instead of the projected 10.1%.